Okay, we're good. Bob Harrington and I came to All Souls for the first time in July of 2019. We had just moved across the country from the Boston area, which had been our home of many decades, in order to live near my daughter and her family, who live in Point Loma. I have been a lifelong Episcopalian, and Bob, a Catholic, morphed into a closet Episcopalian. We had had a steady and meaningful church community in Wellesley, Massachusetts. We did a bit of exploration of church options here, but felt a natural home at All Souls. We immediately recognized the warmth and community energy of this parish. The apparent calm of the Dervis family, as they expected a second set of twins, was powerful. The beauty of the sanctuary and the West Coast openness of both the space and the windows gave us a freshness after our traditional East Coast church. And the music that Reuben brought forth from the organ and choir was remarkable. We also liked the energy to tackle tough subjects in sermons as well as other aspects of parish life. We joined Eric Spohr and his outreach team at one of their lunches at MCRD, having never been near a marine base before. I particularly remember a sermon on the passage in Luke 12, in which Jesus says, I came to bring fire to the earth, followed by a coffee hour conversation with Father Jim about Jesus' anger about social injustice. All souls seem to get it about the tumultuous times in which we are living, tumultuous politically as well as in the natural world. And that was before COVID hit us all over the head. During these times, All Souls has remained positive and hopeful that there is indeed an arc towards justice, even if we can't see it over the mountain ridge. Peter Sickle's sermon about an unplanned boat trip and engaging in the adventure of life and spirituality resonated greatly for us. Bob and I had just taken the very large risk of uprooting and figuring out how to grow roots in a new climate and soil. We found both the hope and the spirit of adventure of all souls to be just right. And then came COVID, yikes. We were grateful that we had already gotten to know so many of you before that hit and our contacts became limited to Zoom. But again, the spirit of patience combined with the sense of humor of both the Durbus family and the leadership at All Souls has been a balm. Although we would have preferred to have services in the usual way, we loved having Reuben and the choir keep giving us inspiring music online. We felt that the parish was continuing to sing a new song together as we sorted out life and risk in the COVID era. The faithful tribe held. So here it is, October and pledge season. Bob and I have been steadfast pledgers to our church over the years. In addition to deeply valuing the life and mission of the church, we believe that a pledge is a moral obligation and expression of commitment. It would be unimaginable not to pledge, similar to our feeling, that it would be unimaginable not to vote. We pledge what dollars we feel we can, but we also pledge our time and energy. We are very grateful to have found All Souls and the lively band of parishioners and clergy here. We look forward to deepening our ties and growing creatively together with you, whatever comes down our path.